Hi friends! Welcome to Content Factory. Today I am talking about parrot. Parrots also known as cytosines are birds of the roughly 398 species in 92 genera comprising the order Cetaciforms found mostly in tropical and subtropical regions. The order is subdivided into three superfamilies, the Cytocoidea, the Cacatuoidea, and the Strigopoidea. One-third of all parrot species are threatened by extinction. With higher aggregate extinction risk than any other comparable bird group. Parrots have a generally pantropical distribution with several species inhabiting temperate regions in the southern hemisphere, as well. The greatest diversity of parrots is in South America and Australasia. Characteristic features of parrots include a strong, curved bill, an upright stance, strong legs, and clawed zygodactyl feet. Many parrots are vividly colored. And some are multicolored. Most parrots exhibit little or no sexual dimorphism in the visual spectrum. They form the most variably sized bird order in terms of length. Parrots, along with ravens, crows, jays, and magpies, are among the most intelligent birds, and the ability of some species to imitate human speech enhances their popularity as pets. Trapping wild parrots for the pet trade as well as hunting, habitat loss, and competition from invasive species, has diminished wild populations. With parrots being subjected to more exploitation than any other group of birds. As of 2021, about 50 million parrots live in captivity, with the vast majority of these living as pets in people's homes. Measures taken to conserve the habitats of some high-profile charismatic species have also protected many of the less charismatic species living in the same ecosystems. Parrots are the only creatures that display true tripedalism, using their necks and beaks as limbs with propulsive forces equal to or greater than those forces. Generated by the forelimbs of primates when climbing vertical surfaces. They can travel with cyclical tripedal gaits when climbing. Parrots are the only creatures that display true tripedalism, using their necks and beaks as limbs with propulsive forces equal to or greater than those forces. Generated by the forelimbs of primates when climbing vertical surfaces. They can travel with cyclical tripedal gaits when climbing. Parrots are the only creatures that display true tripedalism, using their necks and beaks as limbs with propulsive forces equal to or greater than those. Forces generated by the forelimbs of primates when climbing vertical surfaces. They can travel with cyclical tripedal gaits when climbing. Numerous challenges are found in studying wild parrots, as they are difficult to catch and once caught, they are difficult to mark. Most wild bird studies rely on banding or wing tagging, but parrots chew off such attachments. Parrots also tend to range widely, and consequently many gaps occur in knowledge of their behavior. Some parrots have a strong, direct flight. Most species spend much of their time perched or climbing in tree canopies. They often use their bills for climbing by gripping or hooking on branches and other supports. On the ground, Parrots often walk with a rolling gait. The diet of parrots consists of seeds, fruit, nectar, pollen, buds, and sometimes arthropods and other animal prey. The most important of these for most true. Parrots and cockatoos are seeds, the large and powerful bill has evolved to open and consume tough seeds. All true parrots, except the pescace parrot. Employ the same method to obtain the seed from the husk, the seed is held between the mandibles and the lower mandible crushes the husk, whereupon the seed is rotated in the bill and the remaining husk is removed. They may use their foot sometimes to hold large seeds in place. Parrots are granivores rather than seed. Dispersers, and in many cases where they are seen consuming fruit, they are only eating the fruit to get at the seed. 
as seeds often have poisons that protect them. Parrots carefully remove seed coats and other chemically defended fruit parts prior to ingestion. Many species in the Americas, Africa, and Papua New Guinea consume clay, which releases minerals and absorbs toxic compounds from the gut. Parrots are unusual among birds due to their learned vocalizations, a trait they share with only hummingbirds and songbirds. The Syrinx of Parrots which aids in their ability to produce song, is located at the base of the trachea and consists of two complex syringeal muscles that allow for the production of sound vibrations, and a pair of lateral tympaniform membranes that control sound frequency. The position of the syrinx in birds allows for directed air flow into the interclavicular air sacs according to air sac pressure, which in turn creates a higher and louder tone in birds singing. Parrots may not make good pets for most people because of their natural wild instincts such as screaming and chewing. Although parrots can be very affectionate and cute when immature, they often become aggressive when mature and may bite, causing serious injury. For this reason, parrot rescue groups estimate that most parrots are surrendered and rehomed through at least five homes before reaching their permanent destinations or before dying prematurely from unintentional or intentional neglect and abuse. The parrot's ability to mimic human words and their bright colors and beauty prompt impulse buying. From unsuspecting consumers. The domesticated budgerigar, a small parrot, is the most popular of all pet bird species. In 1992, the newspaper USA Today published that 11 million pet birds were in the United States alone, many of them parrots. Europeans kept birds matching the description of the rose-ringed parakeet. Documented particularly in a first-century account by Pliny the Elder. As they have been prized for thousands of years for their beauty and ability to talk. They have also often been misunderstood. For example, Author Wolfgang de Graal says in his 1987 book The Grey Parrot that some importers had parrots drink only coffee while they were shipped by boat, believing that pure water was detrimental and that their actions would increase survival rates during shipping. Nowadays, it is commonly accepted that the caffeine in coffee is toxic to birds. The popularity of parrots as pets has led to a thriving and often illegal trade in the birds, and some species are now threatened with extinction. A combination of trapping of wild birds and damage to parrot habitats makes survival difficult or even impossible for some species of parrot. Importation of wild-caught parrots into the US and Europe is illegal after the Wild Bird Population Act was passed in 1992. Parrots have featured in human writings, story, art, humor, religion, and music for thousands of years, such as Aesop's fable The Parrot and the Cat. The Masnavi by Rumi of Persia in 1250 The Merchant and the Parrot. Recent books about parrots in human culture include parrot culture. The principal threats of parrots are habitat loss and degradation, hunting, and, for certain species, the wild bird trade. Parrots are persecuted because in some areas, they are hunted for food and feathers, and as agricultural pests. For a time, Argentina offered a bounty on monk parakeets for that reason. Resulting in hundreds of thousands of birds being killed, though apparently this did not greatly affect the overall population. Every year on May 31, World Parrot Day is celebrated. Subscribe this channel to get more informative videos.